And now the village of Rio Doso is starting to pick up the pieces since the evacuation orders are lifted. But one man chose not to leave as flames approached his front door and he tried to fight off those flames. KRQB News 13's Gabe Chavez is here with that story. The McBride fire has destroyed 207 houses these past few days. One man we spoke to, though, fought to make sure that his house was not added to that list. So I, I stayed here trying to protect it. And that's, that's what I did for three days. Rick Koontz was one of the many affected by the McBride fire. He didn't have any warning when the flames broke out. Just enough time to grab his wife and leave. Well, we, we had time to get our dogs in the car and go. And, and it was right, I mean, it was right here. And that fast wind, I mean, thing, firing things, branches blowing fire, it, it was <laughs> it's scary. Rick owns an RV park here in Rio Loso. He says losing this would mean losing everything. I want to protect my property. This is my retirement. I'm 71 years old. I'm pretty much fairly retired. I built this. You know, this is, this is our retirement. Rick stayed to battle the flames that were popping up around his home while his wife left. For those three days, he battled his own blazes, trying his best to save his home, using the water from his house to put the smaller flames out. It burnt his well to the ground and took out customers' RVs. One of the biggest concerns, the propane tanks behind his home. I was hearing propane tanks blowing up. Propane tanks. We have three behind here that didn't. His home was spared from the flames, but his garage was not. This is, this is all I've got. Look at my pickup. <laughs> all my tools got burned up in there. Rick says he and his family are lucky to be alive and still have a home. And so we'll move forward, you know, and I'm thankful for another day and we'll get through it. Rick says he plans to rebuild, but he does not plan on leaving.